What's up everyone? Bo here from BZ Oven. Where are we today? Russian Fishing 4. I know you were all thinking. You were all thinking it. Don't tell me you weren't. We put out the video, the guide if you will, of uh, how to get started in Russian Fishing 4 and I know people were commenting, are you actually gonna play this game or were you just like, were you just paid to put out this game? No. I, I wasn't paid I wasn't paid money at all that was that was completely me I actually really do uh, once I was able to play the game and I actually I was able to play in a uh, oh an admin account to kind of try out some other things and then to make you know get parts of the video for uh, for that guide but uh man I'm honestly excited to work my way through and I was gonna wait till daytime to get started but I mean look at this does that not look like like an actual cabin in real life it's crazy the lighting is just amazing in this game. So anyway, Russian Fishing 4, everyone. I'm not too far in, as you can see, level 14 down in the bottom. i um, excited to start uh, sort of a beginner series, but uh, I know 14 is more than zero, and uh, and all I can say is that I'm pretty much still using the majority of the stuff that I was using at level one. I will say I've made some upgrades. I may have bought some more lures, uh, which I'm willing to show you. You go from the starting area, which is Cottage Pond, uh, where you learn float fishing. You can then go to Mosquito Lake, to do more of more float fishing uh, European style on bottom uh, bottom fishing for like carp and, and that sort of thing or you can move on to winding rivulet and I do believe that this is actually part of the tutorial where you learn how to spin uh, spinning fish and so uh, yeah coming back here as you can tell we were in the town just right over there don't want to wheel us about too fast here but you can run down run down the path here you can buy a map from the administration office which you certainly could but basically uh, administration office is right here where my cursor is and then you can just run down the path and you can either start fishing over here um, that's not a decent that's not a bad spot but I like going all the way to the tent I, I I like to work for it I guess I like to go all the way to the tent and I'll show you uh, what I recommend to start off all right we're here here's the the tent over yonder uh, which is great you can actually put stuff uh, put stuff that you don't want to carry into the tent uh, which is something you can you can certainly do uh, all this stuff you see here these are skills you can actually learn uh, just by leveling up I've put a lot of my skills into actually fishing instead of uh, putting them into cooking or that sort of thing making lures or you know all that uh, harvesting baits I do have one in harvesting baits of getting uh getting red worms which I thought was useful um, but I don't have a shovel so I, I'm not able to take advantage of it uh, basically you'll see all these all these sticks out here and you definitely do not want to get your lure stuck in the sticks it is a pain to get it out of it in fact I have a way to get out of it so make sure uh, if we do if that does happen uh, I'll make sure to show you my little trick uh, but realize that when I give you these recommendations these are coming from a level 14 player you know now, I'm not some crazy dude who's poured in thousands of hours into this game and there certainly are people like that playing Russian fishing for uh, this is coming from someone who's level 14 uh, maybe I don't have the perfect lure maybe I'm not using the gear that I need to be using right now but it's been working for me so that's what I'm gonna show you right now uh, I sell this is the spinning rod you start with and what I will say is that this reel is actually not bad four and a half kgs uh, the other reel you're gonna get is this one where it's got three kgs not as strong doesn't have that much drag and that four and a half kgs even if it's an old vintage style reel like it says it's gonna allow you to catch larger fish which Russian fishing for does not care what your feelings are if you catch a big fish in this game and you just might it, it will just take your line and break you off. It's all just chance. There's so much chance in this game. It's real. I mean, it's just like real life. Uh, a giant walleye will go after a lure this big if it wants to. And then you've got six pound line and now you've got, you know, a uh, 10 pound walleye taking you for a ride. But essentially, you have your spinning rod, which I've, uh, I've got this Corona S60L now. Um, 
with uh, with still the reel that we start with on there, and I do have uh, a little spinner on here as well, uh, the dragonfly. Now you can click on this little eye here, and it will tell you um, the different sizes. Uh, you know, this is a 003. Um, it's a small uh, spinner bait. Shows you the hook sizes that can go on it, and then uh, and then everything else. So basically, um, it actually tells you the hook that's down below. Shows you uh, what hook exactly it is. Um, basically, when you're creating your own fishing lures and whatnot, you can put on uh, different size hooks depending upon what you're fishing for. But we just bought this one straight from the store, so uh, we didn't do anything that fancy. Uh, we do have the towel stick. Now I am using a 16, very small hook with this guy. Uh, we do have a regular bobber on here, though I, I think we should probably slim it down to something else. Um, and we're just using maggots at the moment. Uh, we could certainly try other things. I've got other uh, different stuff that you could try, uh, but we're going to stick with maggots. And then, once you catch enough fish doing spinning, once you get enough with the float, which you can combine together, and I'll show you how, uh, you can get a bottom rod. And these bottom rods will allow you to throw another rod out there um, and then fish for whatever you want right now I've got wet bread on here for maybe a carp or something like that um, and then this one I've got a worm uh, with a size 6 hook on the one and a size 4 on the other so mixing it up going for different fish luckily as we can see it's daytime now no way to skip time as far as I'm aware anyway but uh, you can continue fishing throughout it so it doesn't doesn't truly matter what we're gonna do now now, let's see here. There's no way of knowing what the distance is that you're casting. This isn't Fishing Planet where you just, you know, have a little circle and you go, I want to cast it right there. No. This isn't, that isn't real life, you know? <laughs> so, we're just going to go ahead. And you can you can hold it and it will go above 100%, which is kind of cool. And see, now he's casted way out there, but the line, of course, doesn't uh, extend that far. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit zero. And zero is going to put it... In a rod stand which is nice because now we can just oh but it's already off we can just wait oh I messed up all right so now it's in our rod stand which is very nice and we can just kind of watch the bobber and see if anything takes it while we're waiting I can take my spinning rod out and I can cast out not sure how far I want to cast we'll go 70% see how far I will say as your skills increase um, you know your distance your distance of uh, uh, casting will go up and the you know the direction you cast when you start out maybe you try to throw it one way but it lands two feet to the right or two feet to the left as your skills improve you're gonna be able to cast straight which is very nice obviously so uh, I would picture this more of like a role-playing game it's a fishing role-playing game your character in the beginning of any role-playing game isn't very good but slowly gets better and that's what fishing uh, Russian fishing is all about getting real close to that log there oh we got one on here we go oh very small perch that is all right that is all right here we go so later on you'll be able to buy a net and you won't have to bring it in all the way which is going to be very handy when you're getting larger fish that you really can't bring in all the way it seems unless you uh plan on uh, wrestling it for a long time but here we go little perch that'll work though we'll get him now you might be taking notice that uh that our yeah our telus uh our telus stick here isn't doing too well um, and maybe it's all about the uh, location that it's at, you know? Maybe we should be fishing around some greenery like this or uh, or over there with those uh, that log or something like that. And that's something we certainly can do. Let's, tr let's go ahead and try something different. Let's just toss it out here. Allow it to go by these weeds here. We'll just toss it right there and let it do its thing. And we're going to take out our... Uh, spinning rod again. I am going to change up our spinning rod tackle. Slightly larger lure. Now we can increase the friction break as you saw right there um, by using our scroll wheel. So I'm going to raise it up to 20 here. It's putting up a good little fight. It's just another little small perch. But that's great. It's going to help us out anyway. Raise them up there, a little 303 grams. No, just just keep on catching fish, man. That's what it's all about. Keep catching fish, keep making money. 
Um, we've already talked about in the guide how a good way to go about that is by going to the fish market. Um, maybe you start noticing things. Maybe you keep catching perch with this uh, specific lure, and then next time you see perch in the store or uh, you know wanting to be bought by the cafe, um, you know, then you'll know. Oh gonna bring this lure with me uh, because that's the one that catches the perch really well especially on cloudy days like today so you know it might be useful to keep a little note card and uh, keep track of uh, you know what what fish are going after which lures you know because there's a lot of uh, variation yep right around that 300 so if we continually catch smaller fish, obviously, could be a sign that maybe we're just, uh, you know, this is pretty normal. But you could go back to the store and uh, and get a lure that has a slightly larger hook, and then maybe you have a little uh, better luck catching a larger fish. But we're just going to keep on keeping on at the moment. I'm not, I'm not mad about catching these perch right now. Having a good time. It's getting messed with, that's for sure. There we go. Did we get him? We got him! A bleak! Look at this tiny little thing! Oh my god! You know, and so it might be, uh, might be the, might be the maggot? Might be that it was a, a small hook? Uh, who's to say? But, uh, it's amazing how you see a fish this small, but you never know. You never know. This thing could be wanted by the cafe, and next thing you know, you're selling it and making moolah. So we're gonna keep that bad boy. That bad, that bad bleak boy right there, man. So basically, if, if you, per se, you wanna continue reeling in your rod, you could press zero and actually put your spinning rod in a, uh, in a little rest there. And now I could pick up this and just wait for this to go under. That way we're prepared for when that fish decides to bite. There, it's under, it's under. Oh, we got a bottom rod going. Look at this, a little crucian. It is a little crucian. Look at that, it's adorable. It's like a giant goldfish. I love the models in this game. They are amazing. Um, the only thing I wish is that I could have a, a character to see holding it or something like that. That'd be so cool. Uh, but yeah, great models in Russian fishing. Um, you can see all the scales. It's just beautiful. Just a beautiful fish. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Now, especially when it comes to bottom rods like this, you can actually increase the retrieval speeds so that you can just reel it in super fast. Um, you don't have to, you know, deal with it taking so long. Let's get a really good cast out towards these weeds. I'm, I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking there's a chance. There's a chance. If we take a look at the map, you can actually see it just, well, I guess we should have cast it over to the right a little bit more, because that's where it starts to get really deep. But, uh, yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah, we got him! We got him! Another bleak, it looks like! Yes! Haha! <laughs> He's so excited about such a small little fish. We're catching monsters today, everyone. A white bream, how about that? Well, that's something else. Ooh. We are fighting for every foot of line. Ooh. There he just... Oh, yeah, he's getting tired now. He's getting tired now. Now, it is pretty cool, because uh, once he gets a little bit closer, we will be able to kind of see through the water what fish he is. So that'll be kind of neat. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Next thing you know... The pressure's down, and you've lost him. I'm reeling in constantly right now. And uh, if it gets low, instead of uh, holding the rod up, what I'm going to do is actually uh, hold shift to uh, reel in a little bit faster. And I'm not moving at all right now. If you move, you're going to mess with your pressure altogether. So I'm, I'm going to stay in one place, and we're going to keep it going. Now, obviously, if you keep reeling in... Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at that guy. Maybe an asp here. All right, pulling up the rod tip. There we go, 1.091 kg asp. Only like two pounds. <laughs> That's awesome though. Nice, nice fish. Getting a little bit bigger, right? Got 306 XP for uh, L 
L tackle. I'm not sure what that is. Light tackle. Uh, 613 XP points. 919 total XP points. So right on. Got a little larger fish and definitely got a little larger XP because of it. Had to pull out. Haven't done this since the Fishing Planet Beginner Series. 34 centimeters long. We're gonna see how monstrous this fish is. Yeah, right there, boys. Right there. From that point to my face. <laughs> That's how big he is. Um, you kind of need a sense of scale with this game because there's nothing to really put it next to. Everyone enjoys a good asp. Pulling him in nice and steady like. That's what I like to see. So this has got our upgraded reel on here, which is kind of nice because you don't hear that clicking sound anymore. Looks like it's another... What was that? The white bream again? I got it all the way. A gibble carp! Look at that! There we go, everybody! A new fish! Gibble carp. We got a crucian and we got a gibble now. That's awesome with the dough, which is great. So that's awesome. So we caught the uh, we caught the crucian carp on the maggot, I believe. Yeah, maggot on the float rod. Now we got a gibble carp using the bottom rod in the deeper water. So that's cool. All right, top notch. We're back in the village, everybody. Now, I will say, once a day, you can walk over here to this cool Russian tractor who's pulling this field kitchen. Check this out. That's right. That's right. Get yourself a hot meal. And you can do this once per day. And by day, I assume that means 24 hours in real time. Um... I assume that's how they count that, because I think being able to do it every in-game day would be a little overpowered. Um, little OP. But uh, let's go ahead and go down here. Obviously, we never looked at the cafe to begin with, so take note, everyone. Learning from my mistakes. Look at the cafe here and see if there's anything. A bleak! Oh, look at that. If we would have caught... If we would have caught three more bleaks, $17. $17. There's still a chance. There's still a chance that we could go back out there and catch three more. Because they were really going for that maggot on the 17, the size 17 hook. So we could go back out there and look for a few more. Chinese sleeper. Uh, one of the first fish we caught with the float rod in the starting area. If we went out and caught two Chinese sleepers, we could possibly come back here and make six bucks. Uh, not a bad thing. Look, oh my god. Can we use these two? Fish is rotten, but you can still sell it at the minimum price. Oh, okay, so we can't use it, but we can throw these in and sell Nine dollars everybody. Let's go. We can go back out there catch three more bleaks And I certainly might do so after this video catch three more ble bleaks and make 17 bucks And that's just kind of how you play this game everyone fantastic little game uh, You really have to play that cafe to make some moolah because the the items the items can get so expensive and uh, And the prices just go up the larger the fish obviously you get more money and then the larger the fish with uh, With the cafe if you can get five big fish and and, you know, sell them, then you get, you know, you get $300 or something like that, which allows you to work up to, uh, you know, some of these, obviously these are very nice, uh, nice equipment versus, you know, if you go into the rods here and go into spinning rods, for example, I mean, to go up to the next rod, uh, I'm going to have to get, you know, 86 bucks. So we just, we have $12. We got $9 from those perch. Um, and if we get those bleak, then we'll have, that'll be $29. So, I mean, working our way up there and, you know, really pays off when you can, you can see everything come together and you pick up that spinning rod and you're like, man, I, I put in some work for this and I feel really good about it. And, uh, and that's just, that's what makes Russian Fishing 4 so much fun. Uh, everything you do in this game, you realize that you know you put in the time to earn it and that's uh that's that's really cool and even when you get further along and you're able to mount your fish and able to walk into your log cabin and go man when i started months ago you know a year ago uh i never thought i'd be at this point where i have this big sturgeon up on my wall or a big catfish or a pike or something like that and there you are doing it and that's uh that's what we're going to be working towards everyone in this beginner series so hopefully you enjoyed this video obviously if you did hit that like button subscribe for more content in the future uh can't promise how many videos we're going to be putting out with our working and whatnot but this will definitely be more than the fishing planet beginner series 
series where we just kind of do one video per lake and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'll do another one at another lake and do another one at a different lake or something like that, but we're definitely going to be putting out more videos at the same lakes, same uh, locations. Obviously, if you've got ideas, if you got suggestions for things we should try to catch larger fish in different areas, uh, please comment it down below. would love to see it. Check us out on our live streams. If you'd love to see this game in a live stream, you know, tell me so. Uh, every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, we will be playing games, of course. And if you want to see this one in a, in a live stream, yeah, would love to hear it down in the comments. So, But until next time, everyone, take care. And as always, remember, everyone, one we're one planet, one family, game on.